We'll tell you about that story. But first, a radio DJ for KISS FM in New York City says that he was kicked off the air after complaining about violent lyrics. Paul Porter objected to a song by the rap artist Rod Digger, which the title of which we can't even repeat here on the air. And it contained the lyrics, beat that B word with a bat. KISS FM did not return our calls asking for a comment. Joining us now, former KISS FM announcer Paul Porter. Paul, how are you? Thanks for joining us. Good, good, fine. How are you, Sean? All right, I appreciate you being here. I, um, I really, I read the whole story. I appreciate you taking a stand on principle here because I believe this music is so offensive sometimes. It's, it's degrading our women. It's degrading our kids. It sends a violent message. It's hurting them. And nobody has the courage to speak out. There's too much money at stake. Why yeah. did you do it? I did it because I, I was feeling like a hypocrite. I worked at a lot of the big media outlets. You name the big companies. I've been there. Program BET. And it's just gotten ridiculous over the years. The images. And the problem, I don't blame the, the rappers. I blame some of the companies, all of the companies that are making the big dollars off of this. These kids are not making any money. I'm not trying to stop freedom of speech. I'm just trying to get balance. Balance. That's all I'm looking well, for is some balance. Your story is interesting, Paul, because you, you, one of the things you said, it's all gangster or nothing. You went to your program director. You went to your general manager. You got no response. And then you, you wrote the COO of your company an email. Tell us, pick up the story from there. Uh, yeah, I had a problem with a, a student out in Queens. Uh, the song you mentioned had got... Uh, beat up, the mother had got beat up by the father. So I decided to take it upon myself and see you know, what sort of change, because the average uh, person listening to a radio station, if they have a complaint, they call into a station. I figured since I worked there, I could get something across, but it didn't work out that way. I never got a return phone calls or emails from anybody at the station, but the owner of the company, the COO, answered back in 15 minutes and next day, Things change but, right away in Emmis. All right, but now here's the problem. You, you, Paul, were punished for doing that. You were, you, you were taken off your shift, basically pushed out the door. Well, nobody will admit that. You know what they'll admit? That I wasn't on the schedule. Why didn't you go back to the COO who gave you the initial support and say, hey, I'm not working here? I did, here. I did, I did. No doubt about it. I went back and he was like, well... Take it up with your boss. We wouldn't do a thing like that because it made me feel like I was a whistleblower. And at the same time, this happened over a year ago. I thought I was helping out and I thought the station would try to put some safeguards in place to prevent that from happening. But it's only gotten worse. Hey, Paul, and it's uh, not just there. It's all over the country. It's Alan. Good to have you on the show. Apparently, hey, the, the general manager actually said, what do you, you have to choose between helping kids or working in this business? Not exactly, but it was, uh, it was definitely a statement about making a decision about being in this business and that's what happens you i mean i i can be froze out the business easy there's a lot of big companies that i have problems with you know and it's big business now yeah. communications but this station also is the one that did the tsunami song that yep. we talked about they also i want to show some video here did a thing called smackdown S smack fest smack yeah. fest which is amazing. The I mean, dollars, are, boy. they have two listeners smack each other uh, with the object of seeing who could hurt whom the most and cause physical injury. We're showing the video of that right now. But, Alan, that's all over the country. That's happening at the beat in Miami. Several stations across the country. This don't center around Emmys. There's a problem, and folks are going to have to deal with it. And you can go to the website, too, industryears.com, and try to find out some things. I'm, I'm amazed to see that any radio station would do a contest like this, as if this is somehow entertaining or gratifying in any way or makes any kind of a... Uh, advances anything. Why, why, I don't understand the purpose of that. The purpose is to promote violence. If you go onto the website and see some of these things across the country, and that's all it's doing is promoting violence. And to tell you the truth, the only way I think this is going to change is if folks take action, and please take action. Go to the website, industryears.com. What's happening to you now? I mean, you, other people coming up with offers? Are you, uh, is the notoriety, is there any positive aspect to this for you? No, I'm broke, but uh, the positive aspect uh -huh. is that I'm, I'm getting the message out, and hopefully folks, I know you guys are numero uno at this time, will 
come on board and sort of support the cause because all these companies and they have good stations don't get me wrong you know the station I work for was a great station Kiss FM right Amos has great stations Clear Channel has great stations I have problems with some of the Amos Clear Channel I have pro problems with uh, Image Entertainment uh, a film company I have you know I mean there's different strokes for different folks but if everybody gets active because the children are listening and the parents are not Paul, you got a great radio voice and you're standing up for great principles. We really wish you the best in this business. And maybe, if we, what do you think about you can referee Hannity and Combs Smack Fest? I get to go first. All right. <laughs> yeah, I get to finish. I'm just, I'm just teasing. Uh, it's a great stand you're taking. We wish you the all best right, and uh, you. all the best to you. Thank you.